Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I am home, as you can tell. I'm in my bathroom and uh, I don't know what order my vlogs are gonna come out in, but this is the first time I'm filming after getting back from New York and it's so good to be home. I had such a great time in New York, but it's always really good to be home. You know what I mean? Sleep in your own bed, take a shower in your own shower, the whole deal. Anyway, I'm just getting ready for the day and we have some exciting stuff going on in the house and I can't wait to share it with you. So. I had mentioned this, I think during Mishmas, because I think that's when we finalized the plans and signed the contract, all that kind of stuff. But my husband's office downstairs is being built out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for him. I think this is one of those long time dreams of his. Uh, like we dreamt about like having like a fancy closet and he's always talked about just having like the perfect office. And um, ironically, he was working from home a lot during the pandemic and even after they were very flexible with his time. Um, but now he's back in the office four days a week, <laughs> four days a week. But still, he's you know, he does work from home occasionally, even if he is going to the office. Anyway, long story short, it's still good that we're building out the office. Um, we thought, oh, do we still want to do it? I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, it has to be done. You know, it was it's just a blank room and I'm going to show you just some footage of the empty room. He emptied it all out. So I don't think it's going to take more than two days, they said, because it's mostly shelving. And then he's got his desk, um, but he has a lot of books. He loves books. He has a lot of them and he can't wait to display them. So anyway, that's going on in the house. And because I just got back from New York, I have a ton of packages. I would say half things that I ordered myself, half PR packages. So I want to go downstairs and open those up with you. Um, yeah, yeah, so I was just kind of up here getting ready for the day. I need to put on my rings and I should probably be taking this time to unpack. I don't know, I'll do it later. <laughs> so I'm standing here about to open up these boxes. We're gonna do a little PR haul, a little haul in general because of some of these things I purchased. And I wanted to put my still up Christmas tree in the background to shame myself into taking it down. It's almost February. Actually, when you see this, it'll probably be February. So, yep, Christmas tree is still up. Let's see. We have something from. Let's start with the. Let's start with the PR stuff. We have something from Dior. Isn't this exciting? Oh, it's always so nicely packaged. Also, please comment down below if your Christmas tree is still up, so I don't feel like a total, total slacker. Okay. What do we have here? It's the new Capture Total Le Serum, hydrating, plumping, and radiance boosting. This serum is clinically tested to visibly reduce wrinkles by 55% in just four hours. And here is, ooh, here's what the bottle looks like. This is actually textured, this cap. Neat. Thank you so much, Dior. This is so cool. Then we have something from Jouer. This pretty box. Ooh, some more skincare. Hydrate Repair Skin Barrier Cream. Ultra rich moisturizer day and night. As you guys know, I have very sensitive eczema prone skin. So whenever I see anything that addresses like your skin barrier, I'm like, huh? Cocoa and Shea Butter CoQ10 Alpha Lipoic acid, hyaluronic acid. Interesting. Let's see what the tube looks like. Jouer products are always so pretty, aren't they? So there's the skin barrier cream. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jouer. Ooh, something from MZ Skin. Guys, I've been dying to try out this skincare line. I tested out their, it was like a tint, tinted moisturizer. It was either tinted moisturizer or tinted SPF or a tinted moisturizer with SPF. And I tested this out, uh, I wanna say maybe a year or so ago, and it was really nice. It was a really nice product. I just have so many products that it has definitely fallen to the wayside, but they are known for their skincare. So I did get like one of the very few uh, like makeup products that they have, or color products I should say that they have. Oh wow, they sent a lot of stuff. Oh my God. Oh, and this is it, the Tint and Protect. That is, the product that I tried. I will definitely try it again. So I almost don't remember, because I remember liking it, but I don't remember why. So anyway, SPF 30, and then a light moisturizer, hyaluronic brightening eye complex, a placenta and stem cell night serum, anti-pollution hydrating mist. Maybe I want to spray this on my face right now. Mm. It's like I caught a light fragrance, but it kind of dissipated pretty quickly. Mm. Nice. Ooh. 
Ooh, some masks. Anti-pollution illuminating eye masks and vitamin infused mezzo face mask. Soothing and hydrating hydrogel. Thank you so, so much, MZ Skin. More skincare from Tatcha. Oh my God. I don't get PR from Tatcha often. I have gotten it from them in the past, but I don't get it often. And this is such a treat. Special delivery from Michelle Wong. Oh, we love everything that you do. That's, that's so nice. Oh my God, the Indigo Body Butter, you guys. If you guys have been watching me for, since the beginning, I feel like this is one of the very first products that I just raved about and I love the Tatcha Indigo Body Butter. And I don't think anyone ever talks about it. I love, love, love their body butter. It is so good. Ooh, the Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is so great for like stubborn eye makeup. Their sunscreen, Pore Perfecting Sunscreen, SPF 35. Silken. This I actually have not tried. I'm excited to try that. We have, oh, the Hanoki body wash. I haven't tried anything from this Hanoki line, so I'm really excited for that. And then this is the silk sunscreen. So let's see. So this one has SPF 35. This one is SPF 50. This one is all physical sunscreen. This one that's 50. And then this one that's 35 is a mixture of physical and chemical sunscreen. So we've got zinc oxide and octosalate. So that would be the difference between these two. I'm sure there's other differences, but from what I can glean just from looking at the packages, but that's very exciting. I can always use sunscreen. Oh, thank you so much, Tatcha. That's such a nice package. Oh my God, Sisley. A box, a box in a box. Ooh, look at this box, beautiful. Oh wow, the ecological compound. This is a giant size. So this is, oh, this is the new ecological compound, advanced formula. One ecological compound is sold every five seconds and it is the number one bestseller globally. I had no idea. Wow, that's really impressive. Oh my gosh. So it's for all skin types. Use morning and evening on face and neck alone or under cream. Oh, interesting. I feel like, you know, I've gotten this in some of their like sample bags when I get those, when I've like purchased other things. Um, I definitely have seen this at the Sisley counter, but I've never like really incorporated it into my skincare routine, but I think I, I think I wanna try. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, Sisley. So beautiful, this box. Isn't that pretty? And then we have something from Skin Gym. Michelle, please enjoy our cult favorite Voda steamer. Ooh, gosh, I've been wanting a steamer. Yes. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that buzzing. <laughs> but they're doing the work in the office. Okay, here is the Voda facial steamer. It's so cute. I love that it's pink. Thank you so much, Skin Gym. I'm so excited to use this steamer. <gasps> Something from Beautylish. I think I know what this is. I, I'm hoping <laughs> I know what this is. Yes, these are the new Sonia G Kayaki brushes. So we have the Niji, which is like this big, beautiful face brush. Isn't that gorgeous? These are like the big, mini <laughs> Kayaki brushes. And then my absolute favorite brush. This is the Buffer. Oh, I am so excited to have this in a travel size. You guys have no idea. I'm probably going to be getting some more of these just so I have a few on hand. But you guys know how much I love using this Buffer brush for uh, like cheek, powder cheek products, just to kind of blend them all together to use with the meteorites. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. Thank you so much, Beautylish and Sonia G for these. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, I got something from Isabaya. Is this their new collection? Let me tear, whoa, let me tear into this. What? OMG. Is she not the coolest? There's Isamaya. So this collection is the Wild Star collection. I saw pictures of this and I was like, do I want to get it? Do I not want to get it? I'm so glad they sent it because I was going to get it. Oh my God, this is incredible. So here is the pressed pigment palette. I think this is what we probably most excited for. One of the shadows broke and fell out and I was like, where did it go? And it's actually sitting in the box. But this shadow, this shadow broke and fell out. Let me see, it's like, um, it looks like a rose gold. I can't really pick it up, it's too soft. Actually, here's some of it on my palm. <laughs> Can you see it there? Oh, it's so pretty. Wow shadows 
Look at these shadows. And I really like the matte ones. I feel like I could just use the matte ones if I wanted. But look at those sparkly ones. Wow. This is gorgeous. There is a lip glow. Ooh. Excuse me. What is happening here? You guys can see it looks like um like a beetle. And then we have a mascara. We have oh a lip liner. Ooh, the lip liner is dark. Ooh, and there's a highlighter. What? I didn't know there was a highlighter in this collection. I was very focused on that pressed pigment palette. Look at this packaging. Oh my god. Wow. That is that is glittery. Let's see if I can get a decent swatch of this. Can you guys see that? It's like gold glitter. Wild. Oh my God. <gasps> Thank you so, so much, Isamaya, the team over there. This is incredible. I'm really excited for this. And I'm going to try and save this one eyeshadow, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Well, I didn't realize that some of the Isamaya shadow actually broke onto the floor and I stepped on it and walked around. <laughs> now I have a really glittery <laughs> slipper. I have to figure out how to clean suede. Oh dear, I guess it could be worse. I'm tracking pink glitter everywhere, but is that so bad? Okay, and my last package is definitely something that I purchased myself from Jones Road. I don't know if you guys saw my um, community post on YouTube, but they've come out with some new bronzers and I love the Bobbi Brown bronzers because they're just really great tones and Jones Road is Bobbi Brown's um, line. And so I was just really excited to try this. So I ordered, uh, two bronzers and actually one of their the best eyeshadows. This is one of their single shadows because I love the patina shade so so much So I got so pretty. It's like a cool silvery Shade Ooh, pretty. Wow. I have <laughs> Rose gold glitter everywhere, but I think you can get a sense of that it's Just a really pretty silver excited for that, but let's take a look at these bronzers. So I got light tan and dusty rose. So here is light tan, which has like a little peachiness to it, which is really pretty. Ooh, nice. There is light tan. Do you see the peachy tone? I find peach, not orangey, but like peachy tones look really, really pretty in a bronzer. I've also found like a little bit of a cool pink tone in a bronzer. It looks really nice too. So that's why I got this dusty rose one. Here's dusty rose. So there's dusty rose. So I feel like the camera's not really picking up the pink that well. Light tan, dusty rose, and then the so pretty eyeshadow. Okay, so that is my haul. I'm gonna try and clean up all of this pink glitter that is like everywhere now. <laughs> and my hands and my fingers. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Well, I almost forgot about a chiropractor appointment <laughs> that I had. And I'm like, why do I keep making appointments or like my, my days, the first day back from a trip? I always seem to schedule up. I don't know what that what that is, but I do remember thinking, okay, for the Cairo, that probably makes sense because I will have been sleeping in a couple beds that are not my own. I will have taken some flights. That's usually when I get kind of like kinked up a little bit. So anyway, it'll be good to go, but I almost forgot that I had one. Hello, I'm back from the chiropractor. I am still in alignment, so that is good. And I wanted to show you guys the update on the office. So we've got all the bookshelves here and we did not build all the way to the ceiling because we have coffered ceilings here in this office and yeah, it just, it didn't make sense, so. We went with the natural finish. Actually, my husband picked that out. Um, it's pretty close to the flooring. It's like a little bit lighter, you can see. It may just be the fact that it's new <laughs> versus the floor. Um, and then we had to move those electrical sockets. I don't know if you guys remember that. So we moved those so that they're inside. And then we opted for the um, thicker, um, like shelving, the thicker shelves and stuff. So it is looking really good. I know they're gonna put like a, like a finishing thing there. I don't know what you call it, I guess, like a, a piece of molding or something. And that's it. It's looking good though. I really love that like molding across the top, that like crown molding. 
Okay, California Closets is done for the day. So I just wanted to show you where we are after day one. So this is all the shelving. Well, not all of it actually, there's more. And then I showed you guys this already, the molding. This is the molding I was talking about that they had to put on um, to kind of finish off that edge. And this is where we're gonna mount his television. And then we have this cabinet underneath. They're gonna be putting the handles on tomorrow. Got some shelving in there. And I believe, I think we got some drawers down here. I can't remember, I have to look at the plans actually. But over here, he has, this is gonna be like a big tall bookshelf because again, he has a ton of, a ton of books. And all of this is uh, gonna come around and then he's gonna have a desk that comes out. So, yeah, that's why we have the TV kind of off center because he's going to be sitting closer to this wall. Um, and so he'll have a clear shot of the TV while he's working. And yeah, I think there's going to be doors, drawers. I think the, that's a big drawer. And then there's going to be doors in front of... Oh, no, this is showing. This is showing. And, oh, to show you, there is up lighting here. So that's the only lighting we got. We just got up lighting. I believe we're gonna have up lighting up there as well. But we kind of didn't bother get lighting actually in the shelving because his books are just gonna be covering, <laughs> covering this, you know, from like edge to edge, from front all the way to back. I'm like, if this was gonna be more decorative shelving, you know, shelving that held objects and just a few books here and there, then sure, but it's just, it literally is going to be just a wall of books in here. And he also does have a lot of lighting in here. So yeah, we just didn't think we needed it and he was fine without it. So that is it for today, but they'll be back tomorrow to finish it all up. I can't wait to see this whole like desk situation. I think that's going to look really cool. Good morning. Wow. I slept <laughs> heavily last night. I think, um, yeah, just the travel back and then just trying to have like a really productive normal day yesterday. I was like, woo, I went to bed. I think I broke records. I went to bed at 7.30 last night. And this morning I woke up at 5.45. That is more than 10 hours. And I slept straight through. And I feel pretty good, I have to say. So I'm making myself some coffee right now. I'm going to put on my Current Body Lip Perfector, which I like to do while I'm waiting for my coffee to brew. <laughs> okay, Lip Perfector is done. <laughs> Drinking some coffee and looking at my calendar for today. What have we got? So the California Closets team is coming back to finish my husband's office. So that's really exciting. They should be done today. I had Pilates at seven, but because I have to let the workman in, I can't go. I was thinking about trying to go later on in the day. Sometimes she'll like uh, squeeze me into a different part of her schedule, but I can't do that today because I am getting my nails done at 10.30, and then I have a mammogram <laughs> at 1. So excited. So excited for that. So, fun-filled day here. So I have to remember not to put on any lotion, no perfume or anything, and no deodorant. But I don't wear, I don't wear underarm deodorant. I actually went to the UPS store last night before getting butters from school and I had more packages waiting there for me. So I thought we'd continue <laughs> this PR haul here and open these up. I need a knife. Actually, I'm gonna put on some of these MZ Skin eye masks that I um, hauled for you yesterday. And I think, yeah, just stick them on underneath my glasses. <laughs> Anti-pollution illuminating eye mask. I'm gonna use the viewfinder, <laughs> put these on. Ooh, super cooling on my eyeball, whoops. All right, oh, that's quite a look. Okay, they're very comfy. They're not that big, which is actually kind of nice. On to more PR packages. So, let's see, this is from, ooh, this is from Surat Beauty. If you guys have not seen either in my description box or, <clears throat> actually I think that's the only place I've put it, is in my description box of some recent um, videos and shorts possibly, but you guys, Surat Beauty reached out to me and they were like, would you like a coupon code for your 
followers that was like, um, yeah. So I have a coupon code for you guys. It is Michelle15 if you want 15% off of anything on the Surratt site. And I was just so excited that Surratt reached out. You guys know I'm such a huge fan. And Troy Surratt is such a sweetheart. Their Noir Lash Tint, which you guys know is one of my favorite mascaras, they sent me two. That is so sweet. And then they also sent, oh, their Surreal uh, Concealer in shade number two. Because I had one, it was too old, I decluttered it. And then I had the Concealer Palettes, which are incredible, but those were too old, so I decluttered those. So I had no Surratt concealers. So they sent me this. Oh, thank you so much, Surratt. And again, Michelle 15, if you want 15% off of your order. And it is also, I'm not positive, but I'm gonna say it anyway, cause better to be safe than sorry. I believe that is also an affiliate code. So if you use that code, you'll get 15% off and then I will make a small commission off of that. So just to let you know. And then let's see, I got something from uh, a warehouse, but whenever I see a black box with this kind of tape, I think it's NARS. And it is, look, look at this beautiful NARS box. What is this? Your next big thrill, the orgasm collection. Oh, I'm so excited. I was just recently in New York, as you guys know, and I went to Sephora and I showed you what I got. I got those two Makeup by Mario lip serums and one of the Valentino Ida cheeks. And I was checking out the NARS collection and I was like, I can't, I don't have enough room in my luggage to just be buying all this stuff. So I'm very excited that they sent it. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, it's, Let's see, they sent, they sent out stationery. I think I meant to write love notes on this stationery. Oh, with all my love, Francois. So the cards made you blush. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, that's really beautiful. Um, and then here are the NARS products. We have the eyeshadow palette, cute packaging. I'm sure you guys can see why this caught my eye. I was like, ooh, a lot of like basic neutrals in there with pops of glittery shades. I was like, yes. And then this was very nearly coming home with me when I went to Sephora. I was carrying it around actually. And then I was like, no, it's probably gonna break, put it down. But this is the Orgasm Foreplay Blush Quad. And look at these, all of these baked products. Now you guys know, or at least if you may not know, but I am actually not the biggest fan of the NARS Orgasm um, blush, the original blush. I'm just not a fan of it, but I liked, I forget, I think they came out with like a bigger, like a six pan version of this that it had Orgasm, but they were baked. And so it was like a little bit different and I liked it more and I like, is it Orgasm 2? I really liked Orgasm 2. Anyway, this, as you guys know, is right up my alley. So here is Orgasm. This one is Swinger. This one is, oh, Orgasm X. That's what I was talking about. Orgasm 2. Orgasm X. So I do like this one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Please let me know what you guys think of Orgasm down below. The baked version definitely is very, very different. Uh, but anyway, this one is Orgasm Rush is this one. So I'm really excited to try these and I may just do like a trying new makeup video because I feel like I have quite a bit now. And I haven't done one of those in a while. People have been asking for a sit down video, which is so nice. So maybe I'll do that. Oh, and there's multiples. Ooh, so there is the orgasm multiple in the pink. I love these multiple sticks. Really cool. And then there is orgasm rush. Really beautiful. So this is like a cream product. Nice. Wow, thank you so, so much, Nars. This is so incredible. And thank you, I don't know if I said thank you to Surat, but a big thank you to Surat. And then I have something, ooh, from Givenchy. That's exciting. Oh, so this is their lipstick. New name, new formula, new design. Le Rouge, the house's iconic lipstick, now breaks the mold, becoming La Rouge into D. Into, into D, Intense Silk. It has some called out ingredients here. Here is the box, how cool. Ooh, six lipsticks is 229. I'll probably swatch all these or something in a short or something. 326, wow. Let's just see what kind of, fin oh, finish. Semi-matte, shine, ultra comfortably silky feel. 16 shades. Four exclusive shades for Givenchy Beauty at $40 each. Semi-matte shine. I'm not sure I know what that means, but 
I'll have to try them on. Here is number 37. Wow. Here is 304. Goodness, these are really beautiful reds. Here is 110. Oh, we've got a nude. And then we have 227, which is like a subdued kind of red. Oh, that's beautiful. All of these shades are so beautiful. Thank you so much, Givenchy. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, I think I know what this is because this very indie brand reached out to me and asked if they could send me some of their um, new product. And I was thrilled because one, looks like a really cute indie brand. And two, their first product was a cream blush, which you guys know, <laughs> I love. Oh, look at this card. Oh my God, that is so cute. It's like a puffy sticker. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. I'm so excited for you to try our dream cheeks. I've been following you for years and based on your favorite textures finishes, I know you will adore dream cheeks. Oh, love. Lukey Lukey. So I believe the founder's name is Luke and his company is Lukey Lukey. Is it not the cutest ever? I believe they're based in Ireland, which also caught my attention. I was like, oh my gosh, Ireland, wow. So I believe there's four shades of these Dream Cheeks. They sent over two. And the one I really wanted to try is called shade 1111. And they said 1111, of course, is great on its own, but it's also great as a topper. So that's why they wanted to send me another one to play around with it. So let's take a look. This packaging is adorable. So here is 1111. I have to do a little, ooh, oh yeah. Oh, I see, I can see what they mean. It's kind of like a gloss for your cheeks. So there's a bit of frostiness, but it is very light. Ooh, that would make a great topper. Ooh, so that's 1111. And I like the feeling of this. Very nice. It's emollient, but it's not tacky or anything. Oh, nice. And then the shade that they sent me is Blossom Bloom. Here is, ooh, here's Blossom Bloom. Let's do a swatch of that. Oh yeah, I really like the texture of these. There, that's a better rendition of the color. Pretty. Oh, thank you very, very much, Lukey Lukey. I cannot wait to try these. So yesterday, I don't remember if I mentioned this to you because I was so excited about the office being built out, but I went to, oh wait, what time is it? Let me take these off. Um, I went to Stride yesterday and I just walked on the treadmill, which I never do. I always feel like I have to run. I have to, you know, be bursting with sweat and just, you know, heaving by the end of class. Uh, but I just watched because I'm like, I have to take it easier. I have to be kind to my body. And it was great. I actually burned like 600 calories, which um, I think is even more than when I run, which is pretty incredible. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I've just been worried about my back and my back feels fine. I did my stretches, the ones I told you about. And it was, yeah, it was just, it was really, really great. And I'm so happy. I really thought after, um, you know, my two flights to and from New York and then sleeping in two different beds, um, the one at the hotel and then the one at my friend's house. Both were incredibly comfortable, but they're not my bed. So I was really worried. I was like, oh man, I'm probably gonna go home and like really tweak my back and blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm so excited, <laughs> so, so excited. Um, and yeah, and I'm bummed I can't go to Pilates today, but that's okay. It's probably better that I take a little bit of a break anyway. And I'm just gonna sit here and stretch a little bit, but oh, I can't wait until this office is done because I think it looks really great so far. I'm always worried about the finish that we pick. Like upstairs, we picked more of that gray um, to kind of bring the bathroom into the closet because our bathroom is very gray with the like gray um, stone tiles. And then, you know, when my husband and I were discussing like what finish he wanted in his office, he was, pretty clear he wanted the natural, which is what we went with. But I was like, do you wanna maybe try like the dark gray? Cause I was afraid the natural would be close to our floor, but like not close enough and then look kind of weird. But I thought if we went with something completely different, it would just look like a contrast. But he was, he was like, no, I wanna keep it like light and bright in here. And I think it looks great. I think he picked, I think he picked good. He picked good. So anyway, I'm really excited uh, that that's finishing up today. Wow, today has been a whirlwind of a day. I got my nails done. We're back to walnut brown. I had that haute couture color for a while, that really dark gray, 
which was great for my outfit that I wore in New York, but I was like, let's just go back to Walnut Brown. So I did that, and then I got a mammogram. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna appreciate and be thankful for the mammogram because when I went to go see my doctor this last time, I'm 49, I'm gonna be 50 this year. She was like, well, she's like, well, next time I see you, she's like, it's gonna be colonoscopy time. I was like, okay, great. So I just got home and I ordered like a suede cleaner and I don't think I realized cause this, it just got good. Oh yeah, yeah, cleans and conditions all leather, vinyl, and suede sports shoes. So this is the original shoe cleaner because, as you guys saw, I got that glitter all over my new slippers. So since these are suede, I was hoping to be able to clean those off. So let's give this a shot. Okay, these are far from being 100% clean, but they are so much better. I mean, there's still glitter on them, but I think I can walk around on them. Not a problem. Maybe I just need to keep brushing them. The directions were really easy. Wet the brush, put some of the cleaner onto the brush, and then just brush the suede. Not bad, not bad at all. And in fact, the slipper with Less glitter to start, actually still has some on here. Maybe I need to just brush it a little bit more. Yeah, not bad. Oh wow, I'm, uh, I'm actually impressed and I'm so glad. I sat down actually to order another pair of these because I was like so heartbroken. <laughs> and I was like, they're never gonna get clean. And I think I'm good. <gasps> I'm so excited, I love these so much. <laughs> so so much yes i'm so excited i'm not like a suede person i actually don't i don't have any suede handbags or suede shoes it's just living in new york city you're just asking for trouble <laughs> if you get anything suede so i've never had to deal with suede like cleaning it or whatever oh, that's interesting so this was uh the pink miracle shoe cleaner yeah and it just it's this set comes with this brush which has a ton of glitter in it now you guys see it? <laughs> a ton of glitter and some bits of suede and the actual cleaner. Very handy, very nice. I'm gonna put these on right now. So they just finished the office. Oh, it looks really, really nice. I'm so excited. They did a really good job. Like all, all the attention to detail that they paid is really great because there was all these like sockets and outlets and because it's gonna be like a working office, they wanted to make sure he had access to everything. So, oh my goodness, okay, okay, here we are. So I'm gonna turn on the lights here. Hopefully it doesn't, is that better? Okay, so here is the office. We've got all the shelving. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be so happy. We're gonna mount his TV in there and then the cabinet under the TV is just shelves. He doesn't have any components for his TV, so, you know, he just sort of, watches whatever's on TV, he just likes to have it on in the background. And then we've got um, filing drawers here. We have it at the bottom of every, uh, every shelf here. And I think I mentioned when I was first showing this to you guys that we opted for the thicker, um, the thicker slabs here. I just felt like it looked a little I don't know, like less Ikea <laughs> when they're a little bit thicker. It looks a little bit um, sturdier and a little bit more luxurious, I guess. And then, yeah, they have the molding all around here. They carved around our molding. And then here's the base of the desk. So we have the desk pretty much centered underneath that center window. And we didn't go all the way to the wall because of the windows and how close they are to the corner there. We couldn't really swing it. It worked here because we just have the whole desk situation here. So we just have a little bit of shelving under there, nothing too deep, maybe just to hold a few things. And then some cabinets, some drawers over here, a filing drawer, down here, another filing drawer. <laughs> we have a lot of files. 
another filing drawer there, and then we opted to just put this shelving here. It was just going to be an extension from this, you know, counter, I guess you could say, over, but I was like, you have so many books, let's just put shelving there. We were thinking about maybe putting some here, and then we were like, no, that looks too closed off. So we just did this, and then we have some uplighting at the top there. So that's it. I mean, this room looks transformed. It looks beautiful. And we actually ordered doors to put here because, you know, when he's on Zoom or whatever, um, he would just like to have a little bit of quiet, <laughs> especially in this house that echoes so much. So those are coming. Those have been on order for a long time, but you know, with everything going on, it's, um, it's taken a while. But I'm kind of glad that we did, you know, the build out first because um, the two workmen that were here, they could just kind of come in and out really easily. They didn't have this like door to worry about. So I think it actually worked out for the best. I'm so excited. The next step is to actually get the TV mounted in this uh, spot right here. So my husband has the rest of his week and <laughs> his weekend planned out pretty much. He's gonna have to put away all of this stuff and all of his books right now are in the garage. But that's one of the reasons why we wanted to get this office done fairly quickly. Like when we started kind of talking about it again at the end of last year, I was like, let's just put the order in because we don't know how long it's gonna take. And it didn't actually even take nearly as long as we had to wait for the closet stuff. Um, but he wanted to be able to go through his books and everything and bring all the books in from the garage while it was still cool. Because once it gets hot here, it's, you can't spend that much time in the garage. We don't have a AC in there. It's not insulated or anything. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited for him. He's going to be so excited to come home. Oh my God, you guys. I was just sitting at my laptop working and I got an email from Miss Butter's school. So they usually send like a whole bunch of photos that they've taken that day. And today it was hide and seek ball day. So they hide the ball like under cones and stuff. And I was like, oh, she's going to kill this because... She loves balls and she can find a ball anywhere you put it. These pictures are so cute. Let me show you. So here's one. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but it looks like she got some balls. I don't know what happened after this picture, but she probably cujoed out on this dog who's too close to her butt. She doesn't like dogs that are close to her butt. <laughs> oh, and it looks like she found this bolly underneath the cone. Oh, cutie pie. <laughs> She's probably like, just give me the damn ball, okay? Getting close. She got it. You're smart, my little girl is. Looks like she got another one. And here it looks like she is wondering why the human is not throwing the ball for her to fetch. Look how big her ears look in this picture. Ah. Oh, here's a close up of her. Cutie. Hi, baby. Okay, I think that's it. I didn't get a chance to get her anything while I was in New York. Well, first of all, she has plenty of clothes. Um, but the Wagware store that I wanted to stop by and see if they had anything new in store is, it's not in the East Village, but it's like, uh, it's right off of University by Broadway on 12th Street. And I just wasn't in that part of town. Like when I, anyway, I was like staying down in Tribeca after I checked out of the hotel and stayed with my friend. I was staying down in Tribeca and, um, we just kind of stayed around there. And then the one day I kind of wandered off to meet another friend, we were in the West Village. So anyway, I didn't get a chance to buy her anything while I was in New York, but I gave her a lot of kisses and a lot of snuggles when I got home. So what time is it? She should be home soon. It's just about five. My husband picks her up on his way home from work. So we'll see her soon. Hi, hi. I can't even fall fast enough. Hi, baby. Hi. How was ball seeking day? How was ball seeking day? You were so good. You were so good. Mommy saw your pictures. Mommy saw your pictures. Do you want your fleecy? Are you looking for your fleecy? Come on, let's put your fleecy on. Good girl. important to be in frame, baby. Okay. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. Oh, is that better? Mm. Is that better, little baby? Are you happy to be home? Do you still want to play 
Hide and seek with the Bali. Hello. So I just wanted to show you and kind of finish up this vlog um, about our office build out here. We just had someone come and mount the TV on the wall. They just centered it onto like this little hole, but there's like a cantilever uh, mount. So that's why it's like, if you can tell, it's like far away from the mall. Otherwise, I think it would just be too deep. And this way he can kind of spin it a little bit. I don't think he will be though. <laughs> He's just gonna be sitting at his desk right here probably watching it. And that's pretty much all we had to finish up and now my husband's ready to move all of his stuff in. I was a little bit TV size shamed. He was like, oh, I haven't mounted a TV this small in a long time. I was like, it's just his office. It's not like he sits in here watching like movies. <laughs> he was like, no, no, that's cool. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I just got this delivery from my husband, so I guess he's happy with the office, but look at this, hold on, let me spin it around so it looks just right. This is from JLF. They deliver, I think, within LA and also Las Vegas, and they ship these like rows, primarily rows arrangements in different kinds of boxes and stuff. Sometimes they're like coming out and like the like the lid of the box is kind of holding them up in the back and they have these where it's just all open at the top it's so beautiful though and he knows me so well <laughs> black roses <laughs> they smell incredible and i think yeah i think you can see like the dark purple in there oh, so beautiful i think these are my favorite kind of roses butters i have the gate up because we had that workman here mounting the tv and now she's just losing it we're gonna close out this vlog though. Do you wanna say goodbye to everyone? Hmm? You wanna say goodbye to everyone? Bye. We'll see you next time.